Trimming is an art. Once you've grown your entire plant, at the end, the final product is shown to the customer. However, it has to go through trimming. And therefore, the customer sees your trimming qualities and the quality of the bud. So before we get into the real juicy stuff on how to do a good trim job, let me go over what we're actually using on the table here. So on this side, we have our plants. I've got two Gorilla Glues right over here. Over here, we've got our trays. Our trays include a see-through tray, or which has diamond holes to allow certain parts of the leaf to fall through, and a tray to collect whatever falls through. We have gloves, which we have to wear, especially when touching the bud, simply because the oils from our hands get onto the bud and it affects the quality of the bud. Over here, we have paper towels, of course, and over here in this glass, we have vegetable oil and two scissors, one to cut the stems of the plant and the other one to actually trim the plant. All right, I put my gloves on and we're gonna take a look at the plant real quick. At the bottom, we have the laugh, which is low dense bud. At the top, it's the high dense actual bud, which is very viable for smoking. And when we're pulling off the bud, we wanna be very gentle and careful not to damage the bud in any way because by pulling it just a little bit too hard, the bud disintegrates. And when we're trimming, it becomes a lot smaller than we actually want it to be. Okay, now that we've pulled off the bud and we have it in our tray, let me outline how the bud is and certain parts about it. And as you can see, the large leaves poking out from the stem are called the crow's feet. You also have certain leaves sticking out from parts of the bud. Those are called the sugar leaves. So when we're trimming, it's important for us to definitely pull off the crow's feet and also trimming any of the longer sugar leaves. The goal with these buds is to make it look alive. And so our goal is to aesthetically improve it and exemplify, as I said earlier, the qualities of the bud. So as we're trimming, we wanna make sure that we don't trim off any of the bud. It's very easy to see when we've trimmed off bud and therefore it shows that we've done a sloppy job. If you're looking for the most optimal product, the final end product for the consumer or customer, we carefully go through the bud, taking out any crow's feet and sugar leaves, reducing the stem, and double checking the bud before throwing it in our pile and picking up another one. In the beginning, when you're first starting off, the trim process can be a little daunting. You simply don't realize how fast you can go because you've just started off. However, if you give yourself some time, your body automatically adjusts and you get a lot faster. Of course, you're wondering, how do we go a little faster? It's simply gonna take time. You're gonna to have to practice, but you're gonna to have to focus on getting faster. Each trim and each swipe should help you get a little further into your goal of making a better looking bud. And so what did I do to get faster? The first thing I realized after observing a bunch of other people is the organization and concentration of your workspace. What I mean by that is that you want everything as close as possible and you want to move as little as possible. You should be able to quickly take your bud, trim it, and toss it without even having to bat an eye. You wanna make sure your next plant is close by, you wanna make sure that your oil is nearby and that your scissor is always oiled and ready to go. The second thing is do not get attached to the bud. As you're trimming, for instance, this is a larger piece of bud and it's dense. And so when you're trimming it, it feels good to trim. You're saying, okay, you know what? I'm getting through this bud much faster. That's good, that's good. Say you're done, all right? And you toss it into the pile. And then the next one you pick up is not dense. It's falling apart in your hands and you're just wondering why in the world did you get this bud? That's not gonna help you. Stay unemotional. Do not feel for the large buds that look beautiful and do not get worried or get angsty over the little buds that are breaking up in your hands. Just take it as it is. Each bud, just take it as it is and keep trimming. Keep going for it and have the same technique no matter what. You wanna make sure you set goals for yourself. So for instance, when I began, one of the main things I did was I set a goal that I was gonna hit one pound a day in two weeks. Of course, I didn't know how I was gonna do that because in the beginning I was exceptionally slow. However, I practiced. Every day I came in with the belief that I was gonna get faster. Think of it as driving. 
The first time you go on the road, you have to look at the side mirror, you have to look at the back mirror, you're worried about the car next to you, you're worried about the car behind you and in front of you. And then as you keep driving, that just fades away. You're able to understand and take in that information much faster and you're able to drive at a more smoother pace. You can trim two and a half pounds if you put your mind to it. And you practice, you make yourself efficient, you listen to the music, you set goals for yourself, and you watch other people trim fast. You can do this. And also, please make sure you have nice scissors. It's really important.